All right, man, let's talk about Gary Rose. Gary Anton Russell versus the 140 pound field after this uh controversial knockout. It was the second controversial knockout in the row, but I also believe that it was just inevitable that he was gonna knock out Francis Bartholomew. Make sure you go check out my Gary Anton Francis Bartholomew uh reaction video. You can find that in the video. I just did it uh Sunday, Saturday night. Also, you can check out the fire reaction video uh playlist as well, too. It should be somewhere deep 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 down in there man so i do appreciate everybody for tapping in check out the um it was not a playlist we just you know scraping the surface of 140 pounds and is he ready and i think he got too much of an amateur style <clears throat> um that's my opinion i think his style is too amateurish right now <clears throat> i'm gonna explain what's going on here right he, he's in great condition obviously you can recover from those shots he can take a shot obviously but he too, he being too reckless, all right? He being way too reckless um, to get in there with guys like Sabriel Matisse who can punch, Regis Progress can punch, Jack Catterall so he can punch, you know, Tiafima Lopez can punch, we know Jose Ramirez can punch. He He's overcommitting. He's overcommitting, dude. He, he, he rushing his work. And if you watch a lot of the great pressure fighters, man, they, 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 uh, they, they, you know, they kind of methodical about how they get in there, you know. And once they find that range and they're able to keep you there, and then they start stepping up their work, work, right. And I like, to, like, I like to see him use a lot more angles, um, and straight punches. You know, he do know that he got a left hand, right? And he do know you can kind of loop it. You can throw a left hook, you know, from the southpaw position and all that. But he, he got too much of an amateur style, you know. He throwing a thousand punches, jumping in like it's like a three round fight. It's not, but he's a twelve. He he he's a twelve round fighter though. And his aggression and his relentlessness is what wore Rance about Thami out. Rance is gonna keep him off of him. But if you fight somebody who got a little bit more power than Rance about Thami, he's gonna be in trouble. So, like I said before, he need to work on you know getting his head off the line a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Moving his head a little bit more, weaving on the inside, you know, using the jab up and down, you know, coming over the top with, you know, with the with the left hand or, you know. So, talented fighter. I don't think that nobody can deny that. Very, 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 very talented. But I think patience. I think he throwing all the shots the, the same way. Hard, 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 hard. You know, I see his shots flow a bit more, but I, I don't think he's ready for the upper echelon level. I mean, you know, maybe a Sandor Martin or Harry Davies. Um, but he, he matched he matched tough though. I say that. He got some power, he got a good chin, he in phenomenal conditioning, he got all the skills. It's just slowing him down. That's it. Slowing it down, you know, um, being patient. You know, he cut the ring off on Rancis last night, pinned him on the ropes, moving his head off the line a little bit. But he been matched tough. Rancis about that, I mean, he ain't an easy fighter to look good against. Him and Robbie Houston Jr. had one of the worst fights of all time. And it wasn't because Robbie Houston Jr. ain't excited. We see him in some great fights. Rancis about that, I mean, he's a tough fighter, you know, he's a tough fighter to look good against. You ask anybody in boxing, he's and he he stepped it up last, but he was gonna get knocked out regardless. But he ready for Josh Taylor and Sabriel uh, Matisse guys like I'm not sure. Back Ryan Madamide who fighting on the Adrian Broner card from Alberto Palello for the title. He fought Barrios and Lombardos up pretty good. <clears throat> I ain't sure, but he can take a shot and he can give it. So, but you know, they got they got to work on slowing that kid down a little bit. It's a twelve round fight. But you know that's a product of, of, of getting knockout. The, the worst thing that probably happened for him was if is them giving him the victor or a uh, victor postal knockout. That was the worst thing that happened for him, giving him the victor postal knockout. You know that his knockout streak being broke, should, you know it should it should have been broke, and that'd have been good for him. But yeah, good body puncher, good head puncher. I mean, him and Josh Taylor be an inside war, but. He need he needs some more uh he needs some more seasoning. You know, he needs some more seasoning. 
He need to slow down, be patient. It's pros, it's twelve rounds. But his rel his relentlessness is probably what make him the fighter that he is. If they can they can make they can polish him a little bit more, he gonna be a lot better. He gonna be a lot better. You know, all you gotta do, but you know, right now, yeah, Montana Love, you know, it's a good fight for him. Or Harry Davis, good fight for him. Sandor Martin, good fight for him. But he showed he can cut the ring off and close that distance on on, on Ransom by Thomas. Ain't too many more fighters at, at at 140 or 47 pounds that utilize the ring like Ransom by Thomas. So or Victor Postal. So he's going into the right direction. You know, when he, you know, get in there, you know, with Matias and uh Abreu Matias and Tiafimo Lopez, he ain't gonna, you know. Ain't nowhere to run with this kid, but you know, I like to see him going there with, with uh Sandor Martin or Harry Davies. Um <clears throat> guys like that. And probably one or two of them type of guys. Uh and then go for a title. You know, about two or three shots, two or three fights away. Yep. Down the line, you love to see him and Brandon Lee fight. But um more emphasis on, on team. First thing you need to do is take your time. Slow the punches down, you know. Slow it down a little bit, you know, and, and just you know worry about defense and throw straight punches. That'd be my thing to him. A little bit more weaving. That's it. But um, and him versus the field is real interesting. You know, I don't think he kind of ready for Zapata yet. Regis, Taylor, Catterall, you know, not yet. You know, we'll see what Tiafima Lopez do in a couple weeks. Yeah, he look, but Sandor Martin, Montana Love, you know, you know, they're going to – prospects going to have learning experience. Everybody look at what Boo's doing, running through guys, all that type of stuff. But, uh, you know, Brandon Lee, you know, a lot of people got mad because he had a, a, a subpar performance last time. But he still won damn near every round. Well, you know, he still dominated. You know, so, 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 so yeah, I mean, I mean, it is what it is, but I don't think he's quite ready for, uh, I don't think he's quite ready for the upper echelon, but he only got 16 fights. I like to see him a little bit, be a little bit more active, but I don't think there was no need for a rematch. I think Rats Bartholomew is going his way out anyway. Yeah, I, th I thought I thought I thought he was out his on, on his way out anyway. Yep, I thought he was on his way out anyway, cause he hit him with a body shot, third and fourth round, man, and he kind of did the little stanky leg, bro. You know, not, and the commentators didn't pick up on it, but I did. He did like the little stanky leg, and uh, I knew it was over then. I was just thinking, like, man, he he putting up a good fight versus Gary Anton Russell. That's what I was saying in my head. I was like, he putting up a good fight, but but you know, hit with his his fit uh with his physical skill set. But it's Gary Gary Con Russell physical skill set, man. Uh he 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 can go a long way. He just gotta just polish it. You know. He can go a long way. He can. You know, but he just got to slow down. They got to slow him down. You know, and I think he got to change the rhythm of his, uh, I think he got to change the rhythm of his, uh, his, 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 his combinations. He's doing the same combination. Sometimes jump in with a good straight left and get you there. And don't overcommit So He's just rushing. He's young. It's like a, it's like a pitcher with a good fat, with a with a big fat, with a with a great fastball. <clears throat> you gonna abuse it until his arm started to slow down, man. You know, he ain't gonna you know learn change his speed punches. You know, but um, yeah, once you learn to change the speed, be patient, weave on the inside, get on there a little bit more on the inside, and start moving his head off that line a little bit more, he'll be all right. But he come from the same school that Derrick James teach. 
you know, Gary Russell, they, you know, he fight the same way. You know, it's the first time we really seen him get his head off the line versus Mike Mayak. So that only happened because he only had one arm. So the family is capable of moving ahead. They come to the they come from a school of thought where you use your feet to get your head off the line. It's not a bad principle neither. Especially when you're using a high guard. But that don't work when you use like the shit, the half the half guard they call it, the Philly shield. I mean, that don't work like that. The high guard it could work, but Rance is punching with him, but right now it's going it's a learning, it's a learning process. You step it up in competition and let's see if he step, you know, they step up the learning the learning curve. Let's see if he step up to the learning curve. That's just, that's just simple, that's simply what it is. Let's see who step up to the learning curve. You know? Let's see who step up to that learning curve, and I think he can. I think he can step up to that learning curve. Yeah, I think his family good, and I think his brother doing a great job. And um, and you know, we just gonna have to wait and see. But uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live drop video, and then if you want to support the channel, cash app dollar sign CJ Good three one three, Venmo CJ Good three one three, PayPal link description. I hit my link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram, um, uh, Amazon Music, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, the whole nine. Appreciate the love, support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Uh, other than that, man, the link tree is the first link pinned in the description. I'm first link in the description. I will try to pin it um, in a live chat as well too. Um, but other than that, man, appreciate the love, support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.